All right, thank you. All right then, uh, we have a healthy number of people already that have joined, so let's start. Welcome everyone. Uh, this is the webinar about um, how Norda transitioned to fully remote PA planning in three days with the help of candies. Um, so, yeah, I'm an agile coach and um, uh, a Scrum Master and an RT and also an SPC. So I've been uh, doing some uh, transformations inside Norda and other companies. Uh, but I'm sort of an agile practitioner, I would say, for the past 10 years. So I'm trying to get more experience and more experience with other frameworks as well. But right now I'm specializing in, in, in SAFE. And with me we have, uh, we have Roy as well. Thank you. Um, I mean, uh, working in Odea since 2015, being uh, responsible for, yeah, for the last six years, uh, being involved in the Agile initiatives and the tooling around the Agile initiatives. So that is where uh, my knowledge will come in for this part. And then we have, oh yeah, Adam, you already mentioned me. Mm. I know. Yes, hello. I, my name is I know. I work at Kindis. I'll be talking later about our uh, product and just our company in general. Um, and I'm also here with Justin. You can't see him, but Justin, go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you, I know. So my name's Justin Oki. I um, I deal with the sales side of things with Kindis and also the partnerships. Um, we're, I'm actually from London, as you can probably hear from the accent, but I am based in Amsterdam normally. And that's me. Thank right, you, Adam. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so, guys, I hope that you can see my screen and that you also can hear us very well. If there are any problems, please write in the chat and we'll try to, to solve any issues along the way. Uh, so on this webinar, uh, me and Roy, since we are both coming in from Norda, we'll be talking about the, uh, the Agile transformation in Norda as, as a whole. We'll be talking about the PA plannings and uh, both physical PA plannings and the remote PA plannings as well and how we try to do our best in, in those initiatives, basically. And later on, we'll move uh, on to Aino and Justin, showing us uh, the tool that they're working on. And honestly, the one that we are mostly working on in Norda as well, to, to facilitate the, the remote PA planks. Um, at the very end, we'll have like a panel discussion, questions from the audience. Uh, so in the GoToWebinar, you have the opportunity to either post a question, uh, there's a special option, or you can just uh, post something in the chat. Um, I'm not really sure whether you can just unmute and, and talk later on, uh, but please do, by all means. Uh, all right, uh, I'm handing off to Roy. Roy, please start. Thanks, Adam. Uh, first, a short introduction about uh, the Agile journey and uh, some history in uh, Nordia. Basically, in 2015, we had some teams that were already working in agile ways and it started to spread a bit more. And then our management also got interested in agile ways of working, since you saw a lot, a lot of uh, large companies doing that. So they would like to see the benefit from uh, working agile and try to start the journey. Then in 2016, the initiative was basically already growing that fast that we were in the need for having a standard, uh, yeah, preferably one standard for using uh, Agile in uh, Nordia, because we had different teams working in different ways, and then you get, yeah, a bit desperate about the terminology because people have a different understanding. What is a feature? What is a story? What is an epic? And in order to solve that, uh, we were with uh, groups representing all the areas of the of the bank, uh, discussing what would be the best way going forward. And we ended basically up in uh, embracing the scaled agile framework from SAFE. Reasons for that were basically, it was the fastest growing framework worldwide. So we are using, uh, well, using hiring a lot of uh, consultants into Nordea. And yeah, if you have one standard that is really widespread, then it's easy to find certified people and to make sure that you understand each other and talk about uh, the same topics. Uh, so that was one reason. And yeah, the standardized terminology on its own, also within Nordea, it's easy to uh, yeah, join efforts with other teams in other areas. 
because you're basically having the same understanding about the process and about uh, all the terminology. So next slide. Yep. And I can describe Nordao's journey in, in the implementation of SAFE as, as quite a normal one, I would say. Uh, since we, we started with one of the value streams and we, we created a, a train uh, around this, then it was scaling up and up uh, until we added more trains in the same value stream, there were more, de more dependencies, and um, then it spread across the entire Nordea actually. So um, a lot of initiatives picked up on, on what we've learned, on what we experimented on. Um, and people also, with their experience, move on to those initiatives uh, and started doing their own PA plannings and uh, basically building on something that was already agile um, on Scrum teams and agile projects. But then the more we saw the need to somehow resolve the dependencies, the more that we saw the need of, of safe and a common way of, of working, basically. And it, more, I would say the need for the for the face-to-face uh, -face meetings, face-to-face -face PA plannings, and we we saw the importance of it uh, more and more, especially in in, in the train where um, uh, we we had at some point five trains all all together. Um, so just as a reminder, PA planning is a meeting where multiple teams uh, meet together. They start facing the same direction based on, on one vision of, of the product. And then they collaborate to create this one single path towards this, uh, this vision. Um, so we had a lot of physical PA plannings. A lot of people uh, were flying in to different locations. Uh, sometimes it was um, in, in Poland, North of Poland. Sometimes it was Stockholm. Sometimes it was Copenhagen. Uh, but it all ended up the same way of teams creating their own boards, as you can see on, 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 the, on the slide here, and trying to visualize what, what the plan was. Uh, one of the biggest PA plans that we had had over uh, 300 participants. Um, and there's, there's an example here. Uh, as I mentioned before, it was, it was five trains uh, coming together on a, on, a single, on a single vision, on a single plan. And we did a lot of experimentation with uh, with thread, with uh, post-its, with printouts from from Jira, and how do we do program boards? Uh, how do we visualize the dependencies? How we try to resolve those dependencies? Um, so it was, as I mentioned, a lot of experimentation, a lot of fails, and a lot of successes uh, as well. Uh, trying just to figure out, okay, where are we heading, and what do we want to what we, we want to do together. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, uh, Adam. Then we had basically the issue in Nordia, like Adam was already explaining a little bit. Uh, if you look into Agile, into the Scaled Agile framework, one of the first things they say is that you should co-locate your teams. If you're working in a company that is spread over, uh, well, four or five countries for most of the development teams, it's really hard to really co-locate your teams. And that is why we had this challenge with the PI planning, but also after your PI planning, how do you keep track of what you have agreed on, but where we have the dependencies and how do we keep track of each other's features. So in order to get a more grip on that, uh, we needed to have some additional tooling. And in Nordia, it is already uh, pretty common that everyone is using Jira to keep track of their developments. But Jira is not really good in representing the dependencies between the different teams. I mean, within your team, you can see everything and you can make dependencies to other teams, but Visualizing, that was the part where we were really having yeah, a challenge. And we have one plugin in Jira that was doing that, but when so many teams in Nordia started joining, that collapsed pretty fast. So we, it, it really couldn't handle the load. So then we went into a tool selection process and we have been piloting with, uh, I think three or four different tools. And in the end, uh, yeah, we decided to go for uh, for, for Candice that was, uh, for us, the best uh, suitable solution. And we uh, onboarded Candice in uh, 19, and we really started rolling it out in uh, early 2020. 
uh, to be used in the first pilot teams. So we had a small support team that uh, built up a test environment and production environment with uh, Kenneth connected to Jira. And we had like, uh, well, I think three people uh, doing the support for Candice. We expect to have like 80 users during the first uh, PI planning where we were starting with a small pilot. So yeah. that's a bit of the history. Yeah. And uh, while Roy was working with that, uh, the, the, the Corona crisis hit, right? So, uh, and uh, as any company, uh, I would say at this, at this stage, so early 2020, uh, we got message uh, from management. Uh, it was a, a general, um, there was a general travel ban in, in Norda. Um, and unfortunately it was just before we had the PA plannings. Um, cause in, in Norda we figured, figured out that, uh, the more the trains we are going to add, uh, the better we are shooting with a common cadence. So it wasn't a single point in time, um, uh, where we had all the PA plannings, but it was spread around like two, three weeks. And just before this period where a lot of the trains uh, were going to the PA planning, uh, we got a message, okay, now there's a travel ban and you cannot meet in the office. Uh, th there is no travel in between the countries. You, you cannot meet physically, physically, basically um, anywhere. So everything needs to be done remotely. And uh, a lot of lot of projects were, were hit by it, but you can imagine since a lot of those PA plannings were being fit, done physically, this is where we were hit the, uh, the most with, with, with the travel ban. How do we organize around this? Uh, one of the extremes uh, was one of the one of the trains uh, found out about the travel ban on Friday when the message was sent, and on Monday, so on Friday and on Monday they they had to do um, uh, the PA planning. Uh, so people were already flying in to uh, to Gdańsk and Sopont in in north of Poland. Uh, some people were already meeting in the in in the offices here and preparing for for the PA planning on Monday. Uh, some people are going or were going to be to to be flying in uh, over the weekend, so you can imagine like the facilitators and RTEs, uh, they had to schedule everything over the weekend basically. So uh, they had to turn turn this around from a fully physical uh, PA planning where they had everything prepared to a fully remote one um, uh, where where basically nothing nothing was was prepared. So communicating to uh, to, to others, to all the stakeholders, to everyone that, that flew in already, that on Monday, wherever you are, either if you can in the office uh, or hotel room, or you just go home and you're going to, to, to do this uh, remotely. Um, other trains were a bit more uh, fortunate in that manner because they had like a bit more time to prepare, but you can still imagine it was like two, three weeks max that, uh, uh, that they had to um, uh, they had to prepare everything, and as for everything, a lot of experimentation, a lot of the tools that were being used, uh, so whiteboards to to do the the roadmaps and uh, the program boards. Uh, some of the teams and trains started using wikis and and trying to collaborate as much as possible, uh, gathering the the information from Jira. Uh, as Roy mentioned before, we had other plugins uh, in, in, in Jira and they were also being utilized in, in, in that case. But the, the best scenario, and this is where we, we ended up right now, was with Candy. So the more sensible um, trains, I would say, and the, the ones that could do it and maybe already had the, the, the let's call it infrastructure or preparation beforehand, uh, started experimenting or better off in, in that case. And now, now, now it's candies. Now it's it's all about candies for us. Yeah, that was basically um, how it worked uh, during the beginning of this uh, Corona crisis. Uh, you can imagine we were prepared to have uh, support for about 80 people to onboard them to Candies and get them uh, to use the tool and get to know how to uh, do your remote PI planning. I mean, within Nordia, it was completely new to do it remote in the first place, like probably in many companies. And on top of that, uh, instead of 80 people that we expected uh, during the per first uh, PI uh, planning, uh, yeah, I call it period, we have like a common cadence in Nordia where uh, you have a period of two, three weeks where most of the teams are doing their PI plannings and uh, most of the trains. So 
<clears throat> yeah, that's four times uh, a year you have this uh, this really huge uh, load. And in this case, that meant that uh, from uh, 80 expected people, we had like 800 during the first uh, PI planning event. So that was quite uh, quite a lot of work, but it was also a nice stress test for the infrastructure, uh, for the tools, if it uh, performance-wise would work, which was the big issue with our uh, previous, uh, uh, let's say, uh, dependency management tool. So all in all, it was uh, yeah, it was a tricky start, but it was it was extremely fun to do, and of course, everyone was in the same situation that unexpected you had to work from home and do things remote that before you would not think you would be able to do it without having physical meetings so yeah everyone made the best out of it and uh, well meanwhile uh, we are here at uh, well at 4600 active users and it's still growing so that's uh, nice to see and uh, yeah it was a nice journey all right thank you so maybe yeah uh, i know can now give some uh, I don't know if it's Aino or uh, uh, Justice or Justin who will give some uh, demo. Yeah, Justin will do a demo in a bit, but I can take it from here. Uh, thank you. Thank both of you, Roy and Adam. That was a great presentation. Um, it's so cool to hear from you guys just the firsthand perspective of how that transition went and um, even that it kind of brought your team together, it seems, even though you were remote. So it's quite interesting. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people listening can relate to it, so that's great. Um, again, if you all have any questions, just submit them in either the chat or the questions um, section, and we'll get to them at the end. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to give some some context about Kendis for you all. We're really glad to be partnering with Nordia today. Uh, they are one of our biggest customers, and we're really uh, we really like cherish being able to cultivate these relationships with our customers, be able to talk with them, run events with them, um, and just have that relationship where we get to hear how they're using Kendis and it helps us to enhance our tool quite a bit. So we're really thankful for that. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna put up a poll here for all of you. Should be a poll on your screen. And yeah, we have a mixture of attendees today, I believe, and we're just gonna, I just wanna see real quick how much experience you all have here. Um, yeah, and the results are coming in. It, it is actually a really great spread. It's almost like a quarter in each area so far. A lot of, now a lot of people saying none, that's great. Okay, good to know. Good to know, I'm gonna close it off. And great, thank you for all of that. So good spread. Uh, hopefully we can be, I know we will be informative for all of you because we want to make sure you're using Kendis to the fullest capacity. And this will also be a great introduction if you've never seen anything about Kendis before. Um, so yes, yeah, so let me get into it. And then my colleague Justin will give a demo of the PI planning capacity after me. So stay tuned for that. Um, let me get this There we go, about Kendis. So Kendis started in Helsinki, Finland, um, and we have customers all over the world in a lot of different industries, like even coffee, financial services, as you can tell, uh, airline production, government, athletic wear, basically you name it, we have a customer in that industry, which is really cool. It's really cool to see how uh, varied and diverse our customer base is, um, can be adapted to many different areas, which is great. Uh, Kendis had its initial roots in the scaled Agile framework, and we're glad to be partnering with them today on this uh, on this webinar as well. Um, and yeah, we started with them, started building Kendis through them uh, through that framework. But we were only official; we only became official partners of Safe this year. We're platform part platform partners. Goodness, so yes, thank you to them. Excited to be here. Um, yeah, so what can this does, basically, if you don't know? Uh, we're not just a program board, although that is a great tool that we have. Um, we actually, we help you to facilitate the actual event of your PI planning, as well as we have, uh, we have uh, functionality for various safe ceremonies. And of course, we will be talking about this later, actually, in our next webinar. We, um, 
we also help with execution and tracking of your PI, which is very exciting and a bit unique to Candice, so that's great. Um, and we have all of that plus a great user interface, which you will see in action with Justin in just a minute. Um, so yeah, get the slide. In terms of integrations, uh, as Nordia was talking about Jira, we integrate with Jira and Azure DevOps at the moment. Um, and we, those integrations are real time and they have two way synchronization, meaning, meaning that the updates in each software, they will update within each other. If you update in one, it'll show in the other. Uh, and users just really have to log in and Kendis does all that automatically for you, which is a really nice aspect of our software. Okay, and as I mentioned just a few moments ago, we have on May 11th, we have another webinar and it pairs really well with this one. So if you wanna scan this QR code, we will also send the link to register in um, the follow-up email that you will get from us this week from this webinar. But um, yeah, we'll be talking about PI execution and it'll tie in really well with what we're gonna show you about Kendis today. So we would love to have you there. Um, so yeah, now we have Justin, he's gonna give us a little demo, um, if we could give him access to the screen and then he can get on with that. Justin, are you with us? I am. Please awesome. tell me where you can see my screen. I can. Yes, it's there. Hey, it works. Okay, now. Wait, I think it's the wrong, it might be the wrong tab. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go again. Let's do this one. No. No. What can you see? There you go. That's it. There yeah. Perspective. Yes. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, and good afternoon and good morning to everybody on the call. Um, thank you, Wino, for that introduction. And also thank you, Roy and Adam as well. There's a lot of companies that obviously had to make changes during the pandemic, but really your professionalism and versatility um, is to be admired. And it's, it's, it's great working with you as well. So but thank you very much for your, your presentation there. As there are so many people who are um, new to you, Candice, on the call, I just thought I'd show you the website. Hopefully I'm sharing the right screen. But if you scroll down, it's actually an interactive website, so you can actually click around and see what it is that we have got, what features Candice has got and see if it meets your needs. There is a free trial that you can also sign up for. Um, and we have got, it's a cloud and self-hosted, which means on-prem in some countries, uh, self-hosted version of Candice. So you can play around and see, you know, link it with your Jira or as your DevOps, your own Jira, uh, your own ALM tools and just see if it works as it should do. So, Kendis, I haven't, I haven't got, I've only got a few minutes. So I'm really going to race through it. So, I'm, <laughs> apologies for the speed. But, Kendis is really, as I know quite rightly said, it's not just the program board there. Of course, that's what people see when they uh, think about SAFE. They think they see the program board, and then that's what they associate Kendis being just that program board. But, what actually Kendis is, is that it, it facilitates the whole event. So the whole, your whole planning event there, um, Kendis will have something for to help you uh, facilitate that. It's, I know that a lot of focus is on team breakouts because that's usually where all of the magic happens. Um, and everything else is kind of like, um, you know, whether it's reviewing or making adjustments, the real magic happens during the team breakouts. But of course, we try and facilitate all of the other things like the risks, the confidence votes, the objectives, the dependencies, and so on and so on, which which you will see. And Adam showed this picture already of the program board. The difference with with Kendis is that because, um, as I know said, we've got that two way integration. The the board is automatically updated. So the teams, like for example in Nordia, when they update their uh, Jira tickets it will be updated in Candis as well. So the cards will move around and you'll always have a live board. It's not just that board that you kind of uh, do for that PR planning and then that's the end of it. And of course, we've got this part here uh, where we, you know, each team will grab the features that they're working on and plan it accordingly with the objectives and the risks. 
But let's fly over to Kendis. This is actually a nicer agenda to look at. This is something that we have in Kendis because we realize that, you know, you usually send a PowerPoint presentation out to people uh, to show them, you know, who's going to be speaking and, you know, God, if, if it changes, as it usually does, um, you would have to send out another PowerPoint. But at least with this one, you can have just one link sent out to all of your um, attendees of the PIs and they can, um, you know, they can actually even join the room. So there's links here that you'll see to individual teams. So it's actually really useful during the team breakouts because you'll have all of the links to the room, to the teams. You can have as many days as you like. Most people, I think, during the pandemic, I think they, it sort of changed. The default one is now three days. Uh, some companies do do uh, a week worth of PI planning. It's not as bad as it sounds. They don't do it for eight hours a, <laughs> eight hours a day, but uh, at least they kind of spread it out because it's quite hard, isn't it, being online these days. We've also got an area for team capacity. Now, this is, you can use this if you want to. If you remember back to your safe training where you kind of allocate eight story points per iteration per user, and then deduct one story point uh, if they're going to be away for that two week sprint or so. You can do that here. And if that's if a team is new to kind of, you know, they don't really know their velocity. If they do know their velocity and they're a mature team, that's fine. You can just put in the story points here and this will go onto the program board automatically. So we've got that as well. We've also got, of course, the program board. We, it's, you should sort of recognize it from a safe uh, layout. We've got the features, which is on the left-hand side there. You can drag them out. You can reorder them accordingly. You can bring them all in from Azure DevOps or, or Jira. And of course, we've got the swim lanes, which are the teams. Now we've got different views of boards, and this is the one, this view here in the Phoenix mode, is the one on the safe program board. On the Alicanto view, which is another mythical bird, we have it slightly different. If you want to see team by team what uh, ethics are being worked on, then you can have that view here. You can even go into the area and I'll make this bigger so you can see. And you'll recognize this from this slide here. So we've got the iterations and we've got this team here. And of course, we've got the features that they're going to be working on as well. If you just want to see the user stories, you can do. So you can just work on the user stories. But on the program level, because we're not as intelligent, we can show on, the, on this level here, which features are going to be worked on by the team. And of course, you see that there's lines here. You can switch them on and off if you want to fool yourself to thinking that you haven't got many dependencies. Uh, no, sometimes they get in the way, all of the lines. So you can actually switch them on and off. If you switch them on, they of course look like this. You create a dependency between the teams by dragging one line uh, to the other, or you click on the corner, and add a dependency there. And our dependencies are actually directional. So we can say, okay, who's got a dependency on whom? Um, and also when you create a dependency here, it will be created in Jira automatically or as your DevOps. So you don't need to duplicate the work. So you see everything we do here is to, to facilitate that PI planning. We just, we just It's a one-stop shop really for that PI planning event. And then the teams go away and then they update their Jiras because that's their their own single source of truth. In this dependency though, what I just have to say that you can write a description of what the dependency is, have a responsible person for these dependencies, and when these dependencies, you know, later on in the tracking mode, if anything happens, actually you'll get email notifications. So if a dependency gets removed, if it moves into another sprint, uh, so on, you'll get email notifications as well. So we, we really just try and help out on that tracking side of things. And all of the dependencies will be in one place. So you'll see the list of the dependencies by team. You can filter on whoever's created them. You can filter on who's responsible for them, uh, the status and so on. So we have that, all of that in one place. Moving on, we have the objectives as well. I'm going to race through these, but we've got the objectives, 
On the right hand side, you'll see that you've got the PI objectives, you've got team objectives on the right hand side. So we've got here, this is the business value achievement, where you can do a whole kind of business value plan in the um, PI planning and then the, the actual when it's been delivered or the inspecting of that. On the left hand side of this, however, we've got the completion rate that you can see, and this is a Ken list feature, so you don't have to do it. Um, but if you want to, you can link features to the objectives so you can get a progress of them. So you can do that if you want to. You don't need to because some um, objectives are obviously quite you know, holistic. Um, and then you can just see what you get at the end of that, and that goes towards your business value achievement. We've also got risks. And of course, when SAFE talks about risks, they talk about roam, which for us on this board is a status and you can have that. You can put whatever the risk is and you can say whether it's resolved, whether it's owned, accepted or mitigated. So you can have that in, in here as well. And of course, we have a whole kind of risk register to, that we can track, which you will see on that later seminar. I'll go into it more on that later seminar. And we have planning scrum of scrums. These are the questions that uh, SAFE uh, provides. You can edit them, customize them, do whatever you'd like to them. And you send these out to your scrum masters and the scrum masters can kind of give you the progress of how the teams are doing. So that's what that's for. And then you can have a room link here so you can join a, a, a virtual room and with your scrum masters and have these discussions. We try and make it easy for you to see. So when something's blocked, for example, uh, you'll see uh, that oh, yeah, I needed to refresh it, but you'll see that that something is blocked. Let me go back into the planning and swims, swims. There we go. Blocked will show blocked, and it will show them sign in there. And also, if you move to another, your next scrum of scrums, so your next planning scrum of scrums, all of the answers here will be populated in that next one as well. So you don't have to, you know, if you've answered yes, yes, yes to everything, you don't need to then answer the, the, same, uh, the same answers. And we have confidence vote. So this is, this is something that I think the UI has just changed recently. But if you've got confidence vote, it's very difficult to do it remote, remotely. Um, obviously, if everybody's in a room, it's just a fist of five, it is easier to put your hand in the air, but remotely it's very difficult to do. So you can actually uh, do that all in here. You send out the link to everybody, by the way, who you want to vote, and anyone with that access to that link can make a vote. Okay, and last but not least, we've actually got something which is uh, coming out in a couple of weeks, I believe, maybe two or two or three weeks this is coming out. Um, I know that some companies have it already, but this is our planning retrospective. So it's pretty much what we say, uh, we're calling it Kendis Collab. So it's your whiteboard to start writing uh, things down. It's starting off to be uh, retrospective, but then it will be just like a whiteboard. So you'll be able to do uh, many more features in here, build value streams, whatever you need to do in these whiteboards. I'm so sorry, that was a very, very quick <laughs> run through. We will be doing a webinar, as, uh, as I know it says, uh, later, and I can obviously show a lot more then. But uh, thank you, that's it from me. <laughs> thank you so much. Mm. All right, uh, let's move on to the questions, I guess. Um, so right now we have one in the, in the question. So does Candice integrate with Microsoft Azure DevOps? Uh, I think you're the best to answer. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, we do We do integrate with the Azure DevOps and also TFS, uh, just to let you know. But um, yeah, self-hosted and cloud integrates with Azure DevOps. Uh, but TFS and Azure DevOps are on the same, let's say, engine, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. All right, so TFS, Azure, and then uh, Jira as well, obviously. Yes. Any, anything else on the roadmap? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, um, so we're talking about service now, but this is on further down the roadmap. 
it, it, it's likely to be service now. It's going to be the next one. But uh, a, bit, a bit of a while to come. Thank you, Adam, for that question. All right. Um, do we have any other questions? I don't see anything in the chat. You can also try to unmute and, and we can have a chat. I don't think it works. I'll see a few more things. All right. Hi. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. <clears throat> yeah, it's just uh, me from, uh, from Scaled Agile. And to apologize again that my colleague can't show up due to illness. And yeah, I'm happy just to, I want just to emphasize that we, am, that we are happy to have you on board as a partner. I think it's a great product. Yeah, and feel free and ask these guys, ask the experts. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? I see one that uh, says, do you support full safe configuration? If you want to talk on that, just an oil Yeah, at the moment, no. At the moment, we, the, the most we do is, we do essential safe, of course, uh, and we do, we've got a solution board, which I didn't mention. So we've got a uh, part of the large solution level uh, where you can see multiple release trains in one board. Um, but we are going to work towards uh, more of the portfolio. It's just we, we've just been a bit careful about how we do that because we know that organizations work in different ways. Uh, but that is soon to come. Maybe I can add a little bit to that, how we do it in uh, Nordia. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We have uh, created a full safe setup in Jira, so covering all the four levels, which we did using the um, Plants uh, plugin, because there you can use the parent link uh, functionality. So we created some additional issue types so that you have the, yeah, let's say the, um, the same uh, levels as that you have in safe, starting from the story to the feature to the epic, uh, sorry, uh, from the feature to the um, uh, capability and from the capability to the epic. And because in Candice, uh, by default, you can only show two levels. Most of the trains, they are using a board based on features. But technically, of course, you can create, for example, a, a board uh, where you take uh, as parent the capabilities and then show the features below it. And you don't have all the, fe all the levels at once, but the great advantage is at least that you keep the overview. So you do not bother everyone with seeing everything at the same time. And the boards uh, are still not too heavy to load on the, on the PC. And if you need an additional level on top of that, yeah, there's teams, uh, in, well, yeah, there's quite some teams in Odia that are using, for example, the objectives as an additional layer. So there is uh, possibilities to play with that. Mm. Uh, especially since we are still struggling with, well, some people don't believe that they are, that we are struggling with, but from the safe setup, I would say that we are struggling with the, with the cost center budgeting still. Uh, so we, we kind of uh, did a bit of a hybrid between the PA objectives and, uh, and the budgeting as well. Uh, so it works then both ways, I would say. Um, okay, now, now sorry, uh, now I see um, some more questions. So there are some comments as well. Great product, it really is. Uh, some people already are using uh, Azure DevOps integration. Um, any maybe any words on the solution board because uh, there is a comment between uh, on the confidence uh, confidence voting as well as hearing about the future work on the solution board but the solution board is already working justin right the solution board is already working yes it's still in beta i've got to say because it's still being tested by uh, some organizations there are some changes that are going to be made to it uh, very soon um, but yes, it's 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 working, but it's 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 not how we want it, but it will be. All right. And then another question: What are reporting capabilities to show teams' progress and productivity? Uh, there's a lot in uh, in Candy's actually. If I if I can come in there, I think that's more. Yeah. If, Reporting uh, side of things, which I will happily uh, talk about in the next webinar, if that's okay. Um, but mm -hmm. we have got a lot. We kind of focus on facilitation of the PI planning and also of the um, tracking and the execution of the PI. 
So uh, I'll go into more of that if that's okay in the in that webinar. Mm -hmm. Well, I can also add that like uh, we are using the, the analytics module inside Candies on our art things. Now we, we fully moved uh, in, into that on the art things. So we have different metrics in Jira already. We have other plugins that do different metrics as well. Uh, but on the art things, it's just easier. It's in one place and um, it's it's very informative. So on the burn down chart on the entire train, for example, and on specific teams, if, if there is something like this comes up, um, there are some even predictability metrics, which maybe we don't believe so much, but, but it's always fun to look at. How does the algorithm look uh, like? Thank you. I think one great overview is also that you can compare um, after uh, changing status, you can compare what you actually planned for your PI and what you uh, in reality realized at the end of the PI. So the scope creep is also uh, visible in uh, Canlis. Uh, and there's a question, another question. I believe it's the one for you, Roy. Uh, Nordera, can you elaborate more how you handle so many users? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, do, do you mean from the from the hardware perspective or from the uh, from the, really from the user perspective? I mean, in in Nordea we are running um, uh, data center uh, solutions, so we are hosting our own uh, Candice. And yes, uh, one year ago when we were growing really fast, we had some uh, issues with uh, performance. So that is where, uh, with some support of Candice, we uh, upgraded our hardware. Uh, but it's actually quite easy to scale and easy to keep track. So that is uh, that is that side. And for the collaboration, uh, for the really user support, uh, we have currently only two people doing the support on 4,600 uh, users. And one of the reasons why that is possible, we created a lot of documentation, and nowadays I'm linking to a lot of the documentation because uh, well, Candice has uh, matured a lot over the last uh, three years, I would say. And they are uh, doing pretty great on uh, on their uh, documentation. So many times I'm just linking instead of writing it myself. That's really nice. And we have a collaboration platform on uh, on our teams uh, where people can, um, yeah, where users are basically uh, exchanging um, experiences and asking questions. And many times before any of us has time to look into it, there's already another more experienced user that uh, replied and help people to uh, find their way. Pretty easy. And on top of that, we have communities of practice um, on, on different levels as well. That And we can share, well, we share experiences there as well. So not necessarily only on the candidate group, uh, support group, but also within the communities of practice. Um, and another question, uh, whoops, it fell away. Uh, Nordea, any best practice you can share for using candidates in Jira? How you structure things and what do you do? Uh, I can take this one. Um, so I would say that we started off with uh, with candies a bit hesitantly. So uh, like as a visualization you know, tool, right? So first of all, we have the single source of truth inside Jira, and then we we, we started using candies uh, as the visualization and making sure that okay, okay if if something happens, actually the then Jira uh, is is what what we have. Uh, but later on, as uh, as it progressed, we we started using it more more confidently. So right now, it's uh, it's actually working uh, both ways um, um, as well. And uh, as as mentioned before, so we are working with Candice mostly on the train level, so on the feature story level, uh, some of the trains, and we don't have so many solution trains actually. So it's still a bit of experimentation for us as well. Uh, some of the trains are start, uh, have started using the solution boards, um, uh, but it's, uh, it's it's fairly new, I, I would say, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So any any story feature level uh, on the PA planning, what Justin already showed you uh, as far as Kenny's functionality goes. So uh, it's it's pretty straightforward going from there. Thank you. Uh, I'm checking in whether we have any other. There's a, so um, a question about Rally. I think we answered this one that right now there is no support. Oh, um, there's, there's one I see. Um, 
what makes kindness better than competitive tools, e.g. Nexion. Nexion. I can I can uh, I, I can try and answer that. Obviously, I'm a bit biased, <laughs> <laughs> but but um, the way that I see other tools are they kind of they will unless it's kind of like a, a sticky note type uh, tool. Um, the other tools will just provide a program board, but the main thing is that the reports and and everything else. But what we do in KNIS is we try to uh, facilitate. Um, the ceremonies. For example, I showed you the planning scrum and scrums, but one of the things we've also got, and we'll uh, talk about in the uh, other webinar, is scrum and scrums. So we're trying to facilitate all the scrum masters coming together and, and actually having that scrum and scrums meeting. Now, no other tool, um, as far as I'm aware, no other tool sort of allows you to facilitate things like that. So uh, yeah, that's, that's what I see as the main difference. And again, if I can add from our side, what was um, what was really the the big difference between the other tools we've been looking into? Uh, that um, well, I mentioned we have one tool, and I'm not going to mention their name, but we have one tool mm -hmm. that is working into Jira. And with the load that we have, with uh, we have more than twenty thousand active users in Jira, so it also tells something about our setup in Jira. Uh, with that load, that tool was actually crashing pretty often, extremely slow and bringing down uh, the whole performance of Jira, even bringing down whole Jira ones. Um, so what we really liked about Candice is that it is running on its own database. It's really a separate application. It's not a plugin, but it's running on its own. And it has a permanent integration, uh, in our case with Jira, otherwise with Azure. But it doesn't uh, really um, influence the performance of Jira. And if you have issues with Candice, you only need to upscale Candice, which we did. And it, we don't really have a ridiculous big uh, setup or whatsoever. Like we have currently, I think, two application servers and one data server, so it's not too bad. And on top of that, um, yeah, because it, uh, it doesn't load the board every time. Many of the tools there, every time if you want to load your board, they are building up the lot on the board from scratch and because Candice has its own database it is um, just reflecting what is there and then running on the background the queries to update the board uh, if there's any changes so it doesn't do that while you're loading it and therefore loads way faster than the other tools that we have been looking into mm. yeah i fully agree so the performance part is uh, um is, is quite handy in, in this in this scenario and and going from there from the performance is also the ease of use right so so the user experience i would say it's 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 quite straightforward um it's uh, it's intuitive for me maybe i'm a bit biased as well uh because i kind of think that while you were creating candies you were mm, focusing on 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 jira and i'm a jira user for almost a decade already uh, so maybe maybe that, but I've seen other tools, uh, similar tools that worked with Azure, and and they they were they they just didn't have that 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 look and feel, um, and also the reporting capabilities. So there was a question before. Actually, this is this is what I what I saw is already working in, in, in Candies, and it's out of the box. So not necessarily anything that you have to do, create queries or. Um, configure it, 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 it's just there. It's and what you need. Thank you. Um, so there are a few more. Um, beyond the whiteboard function uh, that is a few weeks out, what other new functionalities are coming? Oh, I will, I'll probably get shot if I, if I, if I tell people, but uh, we have also got um, we call it WSGIF. If I say WSGIF, hopefully everybody knows what I'm talking about. Weighted shortage job first. Mm. Uh, we've got we've got the ability to do that, not just have WSGIF field, uh, you know, and sort by the WSGIF, but actually a calculator. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we've got that coming. We've also got the roadmap coming. Uh, this is what people have been uh, screaming uh, for us for. Is the uh, is is the ability to have that 
the roadmap view of all of your features and obviously go up a level as well and be able to plan that. The initial release of that won't be as exciting because you'll just see what's already in your PI. And then, of course, subsequent releases will be the, the, the full uh, roadmap. Hmm. I can already see some people being really happy in Odia. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. Uh, so you still want to have their roadmap, so, yeah. Yes, of course, of course. Got to make them happy as well, right? Right. Uh, and one more question. Are, are we using uh, large solution safe in Nordea? Uh, so actually, we, I, I wouldn't even be able to count the full uh, safe configuration that we have. Uh, there are multiple implementations. So across uh, entire Norda, it's, uh, it's just about the value streams and how much do you want to scale. So some of the uh, some of the initiatives, let's say, uh, just stopped on on the train level. Uh, there are solution uh, trains um, being created when we have to create multiple trains uh, and having those dependencies. Um, uh, and epics, yeah, well, we have actually even multiple levels of epics uh, across Nordia. So we are trying to get there to get an alignment between different value streams as well and having the overall view of where Nordia is heading as, as, as a whole. Uh, as a bank and have this common vision and then uh, create this, this structure uh, that, that drills down into what teams are doing, right? So from the top to the to the to the bottom. But as Roy mentioned, it's uh, it's 90,000 uh, GRI users alone, uh, and that means that we have a lot more other stakeholders and a lot more people actually bringing in together. Uh, so this will this will still take some time, I believe. All right. Um, I don't see other any other questions. Just on time. Just on time. Exactly. All right then. Um, just double checking if there's nothing more. Nothing. All right. Exactly. So just on time. So thank you very much. Thank you, Roy. I know. Uh, and Justin, Roy, for including me here, and I know, <laughs> and Justin, for uh, for having this wonderful um, presentation of Candice, and for the great work that you are doing on the tool. Absolutely, it was one of the things you don't mention, but the support is also really fast. So, brilliant! Thank you, guys. Thank you, and it's really glad to hear it. Thank you very much. For and also, we have to thank Safe, of course, for uh, allowing us to uh, present this. So, um, yes. Uh, hopefully we'll we'll speak again soon to those people on the webinar and it will be in the uh, the tracking side of of Kendis. But uh, until until then, I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Thanks a lot. Bye. 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 Bye.